Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Average Troll America, and we have this beer. <laughs> this beer was sent to us, well, was given to Joe by Ewart, so would, thank you very much, Ewart. Ewart literally gave me this beer in your cellar at Wales, Wales Bro Night, and now I brought it back because he hasn't had the one-year cellar, cellar age from one-year <laughs> version. Okay, so. so this is the version that's available right now at the LCBO. To get the fresh one, you have to go to the brewery. Yeah. So, to get the aged a year one, you can buy it at the LCBO. You'd think it would be the other way around. It takes them a year but, to get it in. That's you know, anyway. at the end of the day, we got it. Yeah, we got whatever. it. Whatever. So, who cares? <laughs> this is from Muskoka and Bracebridge. Uh, Winter Beard is a double chocolate cranberry stout. I loved the beer when it was fresh. Uh, I love how they also tell you that it was a 94 on rate beer. Though, I do believe that they're talking about that fresh, not cellar a year. They fucking, yeah, and on top of that, they're stoning, they're stoning their fucking box here with fucking tasting notes and how to age the beer for a year. But like, once again, could it be actually out of 500 or is it out of 100? We no, don't know what they're it's in. Out of it's out of 100. Who goes to rate beer? I don't, people that want to. It, look at this rates. product contains malted barley, barley and oat flakes, hops, cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, which are 70% dark chocolate, <laughs> unsweetened cocoa. Uh, sugar, cocoa, soy lectin, natural vanilla flavor, and fresh cranberries. It talks... Excuse, sorry. It does have a guide for aging beer. Store the product upright in a cool area. And away from direct sunlight. Uh, ideal temperatures for this beer is between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's what it is outside. The people who are buying this beer are not just going to be like, you know what, let's just have it hang out in the sun for Because this beer can be month. further aged for up to two years, you may want to consider picking up two bottles. One to enjoy now and one to enjoy down the road. Wow, well, I should have read the fucking this label. Way We're done. This review is done. We're, <laughs> We're going to do it next year now. <laughs> not drinkable till next year. So that's that's just great marketing right there. Isn't you might want to buy two. Models. Yeah, you might want to fucking for now. One for yeah, just you know, thirty dollars. Also, also, you can get if you really wanted to, you could buy this one at the LCBO, which is last year's vintage, and then you could go to the brewery and you could get the fresh bottle. And they just today put out the 2011 vintage at the brewery for twenty dollars a bottle. Who the fuck is driving up there? It's cold. What? Twenty dollars a bottle. Yeah. Twenty dollars a bottle for the eleven. Uh, yeah. So the eleven when it came out to the LCBO originally, we bought it for seven ninety five. So for them to just keep it for two years, for them to shelf it now, it's worth twenty a bottle. Yeah. Seems like a good business decision. Go pick yourself up one. <laughs> Isn't that what GM does? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> so here's our winter beard. I got a winter beard. That's cool. I'm taking that home, by the way. That's fine. No, I'm not. Oh, it's a oh, cork. So <laughs> oh, flavored mean, strong beer. I'm going to be like he and put it out of my fucking wall for whatever. 8% alcohol by volume, vintage 2012. Fantastic. Oh, that, that little nub isn't very big. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a dollar for every time he's heard that. <laughs> <laughs> How long is this going to take? Thank they, they God there's no... Fuck, that one hurts. You know Doesn't what? It? Maybe yeah. it'd have been lucky they could have wax dipped it oh. and sealed it in metal. <laughs> All right, instead of a Wells night, bro, the next one's going to be a wax dip night, bro. Every single beer is going to be, be a wax dip. dip. It's going to be <laughs> amazing. And if it's not wax dip, we'll make sure we do it ourselves. Oh, look at that smoke, bro. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> you made my dog bark, ass. Uh, what? You made the dog bark, Av. What? <laughs> oh my god, the smell on that is America. amazing. America. America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <coughs> oh, look at that. I don't really care. Fuck the parents. It's Get them to know. It's chocolate on right? it. <laughs> oh. Oh, chocolate. Because Dan saw chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. and like, I don't care anymore. I don't chocolate. care. I have to have it now. Even if it's a stout, I have Dare to I say it. dill pickles? <laughs> <laughs> Not just dill pickles, but dill pickle chips. Okay? Stella! Covered in chocolate. Humpty Dumpty dill pickles. Oh, we got specific No, they don't get Humpty Dumpty over there. Oh, well, sorry. Um, Take a chance. Just chocolate. Just chocolate. Uh, <laughs> and, eggs are and, and it's like yeah, a... The dark chocolate's coming out. The uh, the cocoa powder's coming out. Um, it's, yeah, it's way more cocoa. 
yeah. way more cocoa forward than anything else for me. Of all the things American bands. If Kinder eggs. Anything 47's okay, Kinder eggs, bad. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the cranberry right there. Oh, yeah. <coughs> just, just a slight tangy <coughs> tart. Mm. Sharp little. I don't know about you no guys, but I'm trying it. Yeah, this smells so I'm good. Cheers, cheers, cheers across the room. Bullshit. I don't like stilts, and this is good. I love stouts, and if you don't like stouts and think this is good, I hate it. But I don't. Um, however, here's what I've noticed has changed in this year. The cranberries are almost non-existent. Yeah, I don't taste anything. All I'm getting from the cranberries at all is just a little tiny touch of bitterness on the background, which is coming from the tannins on the skin, and that's it. Everything else is gone. You could taste it before. It was mixed in with the chocolate really yeah, well. Yeah, I'm getting a chocolate stout. Yeah, I'm getting a chocolate stout. A fine chocolate stout yes. because it's cocoa and it's cocoa nibs, nibs. and it's it's everything you want. It's a yeah. nice dark. It's a Nestle quick chocolate stout. <laughs> I'm kind of sad for your inferior palate. I get cranberries everywhere. No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so cranberry they're coming out of my eyes. I I, I, I actually did get it on on the nose. Yeah, the, yeah. It was like a little tart, tangy type of. Oh uh, no, you get it the smell. Yeah, but it, uh, in the flavor, yeah, I mean, this is like if you just hand me this and said this was a double chocolate stout. Sure. Cranberries? Nah. Nah. You don't have to whisper, you can just... No, you can talk. You, you know. can just tell us if, it, if you taste it. I care them. for it. You, you don't? I care for it. Oh, a lot. It's, uh, it's more so than Jared? Really or? Oh, I really like this. But it's no, does she no, care for the beer, beer more than you? Wow. It's kind of close. See, I'm glad, I'm glad you were with <laughs> the hurt, buddy. Yeah, take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> She's only had moments with the beer. She's had a year with ham. So, yeah. I mean, what's there is is fantastic. Yeah, but it's not really complex. It's no. basically just a chocolate bomb. That's what I'm getting as a chocolate. I'm getting a chocolate stout. It's, it's no, the bitterness you're getting on the background is coming from the dark chocolate, and it's coming from the tannins from the cranberries. Uh -huh. What you're getting on the, the forefront, bombs. all the sweetness. I'm tonight. Yeah, no, the I, bombs. I, 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 I think the cool thing is that this is not too sweet. Do you not see? There them? is no. No. <laughs> they're everywhere. No, they're not. Yes, they are. I'm no, not. it isn't. It isn't cloying. There's not a huge amount of sweetness. It's there, but it goes away. Mm -hmm. It's Very a nice beautiful, balance. beautiful beer. Very balanced. What's the alcohol on this? 8%? Eight percent. You wouldn't know it. No, you, no, wouldn't. you wouldn't at all. Because I'm this not is, getting. This is a fuck you up getting... beer. Oh yeah. This is a, yeah. You could drink the whole whole seven fifty oh, yeah. on your own, and then you could stand up and fall over unless you were me. Yeah. Or but you. I was say, I could drink it. I you could, but you're a wild girl. So I mean, you were born with the ability to drink more than most people. Yeah, it's uh, I don't. There's not much more to say. It's, I like a, it. it's a double chocolate style. It tastes like chocolate. It's not too sweet. It's I perfectly love it. balanced. I don't think I. Off the cranberries. I don't think it stands up as much as the fresh bottle, though. The fresh bottle, I I enjoy more. Take a word for it. I'm not going to the fucking brewery. And you could drive to Bracebridge. Your car might die on the way there. Yeah, I know. Like, it is. I, I believe Colgate was like, yeah, they got. What do you say? Like, you park there and they got. Yeah, they, they have the they have the block heater plug. Yeah, I'm like, the fuck it, I'm, I'm no. Yeah. <laughs> Just no. Maybe I'll go. I don't know the summertime or maybe in the spring. Is, in the summertime, you're still using the block heaters. That is a beautiful aftertaste. It I does. Just, yeah. Like that is an amazing aftertaste. Cranberries. That's gonna burp good. It smells like cranberry. Yeah, it does. It just doesn't taste like it. Well, it's just because one flavor is overpowering the other. I think for the for aging, I think the chocolate just kind of dominated. Did yes. you get cranberries last year? Yeah. Yes, you could get cranberries okay. when you had it fresh. It does have like a nice like a reddish. But once again, coming from the chain smoker, my well. opinion means very little. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, out of ten. Seven five. I like it, and I love stouts. I have to pee. Guess that'll sum it all right up there. <laughs> she likes it. She doesn't like stouts. She has to pee. <laughs> yeah. Clear, concise, to the point. I like it. Yeah. Eight, and five, it's all. It's at five. Eight, seven, five. Eight, seven, five. She just doesn't want to dance. I can't blame her. Eight, five. I'm not dancing. Fuck this beer. But awesome beer. Thank you, York. An amazing beer, beer but it's not a dance for me. Either. I would say I would give it a dance if I could taste the cranberries. cranberries. That's the thing holding me. I'd probably give it a nine. Uh, the fact that it says double chocolate cranberry stout and you just get a chocolate stout, it is an amazing beer and usually I just yeah. grade based on what I'm drinking. Still, what I'm drinking, I don't, I don't think it's worth the dance. I mean, it's fucking good, but it's not worth the dance. Eight five for me easily. Yeah, fresh. This was an this fresh. This was over a nine easy. Uh, aged a year, it actually went down in the grade Which only because only because the cranberries are gone. If the cranberries were still there, I could still give it over a nine without it. 
uh, eight seven five myself. And, that, and that's the thing. I'm not even a stickler for like, oh, what you put on the bottles and what to say. Uh, if it's a good beer, it's a good beer. It's just I'm kind of disappointed. I'd like to taste the cranberry. It's like I, it's, I just well, it only, sounds unique. Only because you got the cranberry the first time too. So I mean, yeah, you you did specifically. Yeah. And everyone else that you drank with that's not here no longer any longer. Be correcting. Fuck, turn off the camera. <laughs> What are you, fucking yeah, director over here? Oh uh, yeah, you get uh, your shit out of Hey, me, yeah. Richie, back the fuck like, off. Get, get, off, so get off, away from the Pringles. Too. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. Bye, guys. See you later.